a cat, a man, and two women. Sounds like the start of a bad joke. Move this man! But actually, A Cat, A Man, and Two Women is a novella by Jinjiro Tanazaki, who is, from my research, he's kind of your favourite Japanese author's favourite author. Uh, the likes of Murakami loved him. The uh, likes of David Mitchell loved him. David Mitchell, obviously, is not a Japanese author, but still, you know, he was one of the names on the back of the cover. So, let's go into this being completely honest. I struggled with this. A Cat... A man and two women is acclaimed. Every single thing I could find, it was rated highly. Every single thing I could find, people had a really positive outlook on the book. They loved it. it everyone loved it. And I, I didn't dislike it. Again, I, I find it very hard to talk about books I dislike, because if I read a book I don't like, I'm not going to talk about it, because, you know, the purpose is a chance to give you books to read. But... I will be honest, I struggled. It's only 120 pages, it's very short, but I had to slog, in my opinion, through the first 30 to 40 pages, and that's a quarter to a third of the book. That's a lot of the book. Wait, is my maths right there? I don't think that's correct. Uh, someone tell me my maths down below. I think that's, I don't know, whatever. Um, I struggled to get through that first part of this book. Getting through it though, it did feel like a lot of the books I love take inspiration from this. We all know that I love books like What If Cats Disappeared From The World? I love books like The Traveling Cat Chronicles, The Guest Cat. This book really is a love letter to cats, uh, which a lot of Japanese authors do tend to do. Uh, and I just feel like this book is the inspiration, the root of a lot of books that I do love and like. You can check those uh, books out by going through some of my other videos. I'll try and put a link here or here to, for you to go check out those videos. But I just... I, I feel like it is this gentle book. A lot of people are describing it as gentle, and it is very gentle. It just feels too gentle. Harder Daddy. What? What? Too slow of a burn. There's a lot of shifting perspectives early on in the book. There's a lot of conflict early on in the book that isn't really surrounding the cat. And I want to read about the cat, especially as the book becomes very heavy on the relationship between the cat, Lily, and her male owner, Shozo the man. Obviously, the conflict is one thing people are there for because, you know, people like conflict in books, but I'm kind of here for the cat. Uh, and it, it is a book where you feel, okay, a lot of authors have read this and have taken away and what they want to write about their own stories about cats. He, pers he personalizes, personalizes? Makes the cat seem like a person very well. Uh, Lily, you know, feels like the only character I really liked in this, for better and for worse, you know. Uh, the other characters I think are supposed to seem unlikable, so you can look at everyone's different perspectives with a little bit of a grain of salt each time. But Lily ended up being the only character I seem to be like, yeah, Lily, I want to see more of you. Everyone else... Uh... <sighs> but the, the crux of the book really is the relationship between Lily and Shozo, who is the man who was her original owner. It, that's the core of it, that's the heart of it. It's about how Shozo loves Lily so much and how Lily loves Shozo. Uh, and it's a, it does a nice way of pers personalizing, that's not the correct word, I'm sorry. Uh, the cat, Lily, to seem human, to seem that she shows emotion, especially, like, there's a nice, uh, chunk in the middle where Shozo was talking about when he met Lily and how he looks after her and the way she meows at him to communicate. Uh, that part was very nice, uh, you know, making Lily seem human. Uh, the other, uh, All the other characters, including Shozo, I'm kind of like, oh, come on Shozo, you know, like, he is obviously very flawed. Uh, the two women who, uh, it's not spoilers because it's, you know, on the blurb, his ex-wife and his current wife, um, there, the the side it's like a B plot. It's like the B plot which carries the story, uh, which is a bit of a conflict between the two of them. Which obviously is fine, you know. It, it is 
the center of that is Shozo and Lily and they kind of the two wives learn well the wife and the ex-wife learn through how Shozo and Lily communicate and their uh, relationship together obviously Shozo also learns a lot of stuff because wow he's a bit of a weird lad at the start of the book to be honest but also I don't own a cat so maybe I would be a bit like Shozo who knows I think and this is going to be a rare exception where I, I don't know how I feel about recommending the book because personally I found it very slow to get through. So I think to read this book, either do what I did, I went to the library and got it. Uh, I am going to put the link down below, but you know, you can go to the library and get this book. That's what I recommend because it's free and you should support your local library because libraries are cool. I think you should go to your library and get this out, uh, a cat, a man and a woman and two women. Uh, that's what my recommendation. I do think you should read it, especially if you like Japanese literature, especially if you like books like The Guest Cat, Traveling Cat Chronicles, uh, if you like Murakami, because Murakami likes um, Tanazaki's writing. Then read this, definitely, and again, go to the library or, you know, have a look at what you feel of the book. Read some reviews of the book beyond my one uh, to try and get more of a feel of what you think. Maybe read some reviews from people who really loved the book because maybe they picked something up that I didn't. That's my suggestion. Uh, again, link will be in the description down below, but maybe go to the library and get it. Uh, it it's difficult because I do want to recommend all the books that I read and all the books that I post about here. Uh, it's just, I do feel like a lot of the books I've been reading recently have been very strange or surreal, which might be why something that is a lot more gentle was a bit difficult for me to get into because all the other ones have been zero to a hundred very fast. But hey, if you have read A Cat, A Man and Two Women, I, it's not great that that <laughs> a cat a man and two women let me know in the comments down below what you think about it if you liked it if you didn't like it if you've read any other of tanazaki's books please recommend one to me down below i want to try another one of his books and see if maybe it was just this that i wasn't a fan of so yeah like subscribe share the video with a friend or family member and hey i hope you read a great book today